right, so. You want? Oh, sorry. oh, no, you're good, bro. All right, so we made it out to the secret spot. Um, it was really cloudy earlier, and it seemed like it was going to be a lot of humidity, but it like cleared up perfect. It's beautiful. Yeah, so we're going to get started on showing you how to do astrophotography, how to take long exposures of the Milky Way, and get shots like this. I'm set up right over here. That's my tripod. I have Mason over there. He's going to get the Milky Way. It's a nice, clear sky tonight. It hasn't rained in a while. There's no cloud cover. And what you want is a new moon, and that's what tonight is. You can shoot the Milky Way two days before or two days after the new moon, but anything after that, the reflection from the moon will blow out your image and you won't get as many stars in the photo. So that's what you're looking for is a new moon. You want to get an app that follows that or, I don't know, be a farmer. Right now the Milky Way is like working its way up like this. We got Mars over there, Jupiter right over here, and I've got Mason on the camera over here. And what he's doing, he's shooting at 1600 ISO, sometimes 2000, just to get the right lighting for the stars. And then he's shooting with a 1.8 aperture on a 14 millimeter lens. Like that is crucial. You gotta have something wide and something with a really low aperture to bring all that light in. And we're shooting at 20 seconds. Anything over that, you're gonna get star trails. So your stars aren't gonna look, look like little spots. They'll be, look like lines if you do anything longer than 20 seconds because of the rotation of the earth and that's a cool effect and I'll show you that in another tutorial all right so that's light pollution down at the bottom the yellowness which you can get out in Lightroom are you shooting raw and flat yeah okay so that's one thing I do too is I shoot raw and I shoot flat so I can pull all that stuff out so this is the image he got which is pretty cool and the Milky Way is you can't really see it. Oh, oh I can right see there, it. Yeah. It's right there. It's going right. It's going right through the tree, which that's gonna come out real cool. I'm at 1600 ISO, 25 seconds, 3.5 aperture. Okay. Yeah. So he's even a little higher than I would be with the aperture and stuff, but it came out great. All right. So right now I'm sending Mason over to get on top of this outhouse so we can get a cool foreground picture for the astrophotography. He's gonna find a way up there. Yeah. Nailed it. Oh, Anything for the shot. For real. I dig it. Alright guys, hopefully this video helped you out. If you have any questions at all, feel free to hit me up in the comments. Follow me on Instagram, that's the fastest way to get a hold of me and see more content like this. I'll leave links in the description of all my gear so you can get it yourself. And I'll probably do the next video about editing the Milky Way photography or star trails, something like that. You let me know what you want to see or you want help with. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.